Hey guys, Tom Photoix here. I've um, got a quick video for you. Loads and loads of people have asked me about this and I finally got around to doing it. So it's a video on how to edit your videos from your DSLR in the free Nikon software View NX. So I'll quickly go through that with you. So obviously first thing you need to do is open View NX and that will bring you up into the main program. Now to edit your movies you'll see up here you've got movie editor so we'll click on that and that will actually open a new program so you can just get rid of that and then open this up. Now this program is really basic it doesn't really let you do anything more than just stitch your clips together so it's a very basic thing and it won't take you long to pick it up at all. Um, so basically you've got these different panes here the big one in the middle here is where you will import all your clips to. The bottom one down here is the storyboard, which is like all your clips after you've uh, put them together. And then this pane over here is a little preview of the clips. Uh, you've got a couple of things up here as well. You've got transition. These go in between the clips and sort of lets you go from clip to clip with little effects. And then you've got audio you can put in background music or different audio in there. At the top here, uh, you've got save, add, add to storyboard, color clip, text, trim, create, and save image. The first thing we need to do is to get our clips into this area, and we do that by clicking this button here. Uh, I've already copied my clips off of the card onto the desktop just to make it easy, so I shall find them just there and you can see it brings up all the clips that I shot. I shot these on the D5100 uh, earlier today and um, they're not anything special I literally just filmed random stuff as I was uh, taking the dog for a walk I'm not a filmmaker by any stretch of the imagination okay so we've got all our clips up here now uh, what we now need to do is get them into the storyboard to start making our, our film um, so we can do that by just selecting one of these clips. If you're not sure what the clip was, if you can't remember, you can play it down here so you can get a little preview of what the clip was. And if that's the clip you want, simply just drag it down into this box down here. You'll see that clip goes in there. You've got another little box here and a blank box here. Take your next clip, simply drag it and put it there. And you'll see this little box here stays in the middle and this is where you can add your transition which you choose from up here. So you choose any one of these that you want. I'm just going to choose crossfade and drag it in there. So now we can see over here, well you can just about see just quickly, you can't adjust any of these panes which is just silly. Um, I wanted to make this a bit bigger so I could see what was going on more, but you can't. That's how it is, so um, we just have to put up with that. But I can press play, and that will play this first short clip. And then it will crossfade into the next one, like that. And then it will play that clip. you see this boat go past, and then it will just stop. It stopped, so that's the end of that clip. So now to add another clip, we can go back to source and then you can pick another clip and stick it in there. And again, select that, go to transition and choose a transition and put it in. Now that's it, that's all this program does really. There's no editing at all. There's no filters, there's no effects, that is it. It's a really basic program. Uh, the one other thing that you can do is you can actually trim uh, clips down a bit. So if you've got a clip that's a bit longer than what you want, let's say this one here, it's 35 seconds long. I can put that into the storyboard and I can right click and I can go to trim. And then that will bring up this other little pane here. So then what I can do is I can scrub through my footage. It doesn't give you a live preview, it only sort of gives you a frame by frame preview.
preview. So you've got to try and find the frame you want. You can use these buttons to go from the very end to the beginning and you can use this button for frame by frame or you can actually play the clip as well. So find where you want the clip to start. I'm just going to randomly choose there and then click in and then find where you want the clip to end. Just get past this person coming past on the bike and then click out and click OK and that will now have trimmed that little clip down just into those bits um, that I selected. So you can see there clip starts where I told it to. These two bikes have come past and the clip will end. And that's pretty much it for this program actually. It doesn't do any more than that. Uh, again we can just stick another transition in there. When you get to the end of the movie um, you can't do any fades out but you can sort of cheat a little. Um, if you want the video to fade out at the end right click add color clip select black change the duration just to something like 8 and then click OK and then play it and at the end of this clip it will fade out to black or whatever colour that you've chosen. Okay. As you can see it's not particularly brilliant um, but it is what it is. Um, what I should have said actually here you should stick a crossfade in then it will crossfade into black. And let's get to the right point to show you. And now it will crossfade into black. The sound will just stop because the audio um, stops on the clip. It doesn't fade out the audio at all. Once you've made your entire video, you can preview it up here. Make sure everything is where you want it and how you want it. Make sure the transitions are what you want. And when you're happy with it, come up the top here and you can see it says create movie. It's got this little icon here. Click on that, it will ask you to name it. And it'll ask where you want to save it. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop. And then you can select the file type, you've got three choices. You can select the size and the aspect ratio. And you can select the frame rate. Once you're happy with all that, click create and it will export your movie. And that is it, that is as far as this program goes. Um, obviously it's not very good really. Um, there's much better programs available out there, even Windows Movie Maker is a lot more featured than this is. So um, unless you just want something really basic just to stitch a load of clips together, then uh, you might as well just avoid this and try something else. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll just quickly wait for this to finish and show you the finished product. And there we are, it's done. So now my video should be in here. Let's turn the volume down a bit because it's not very good. And there it is. That's our movie with all the um, transitions and everything. Slightly dodgy transitions. Okay. And that's it. So there you are guys, that is View and X, uh, Nikon Movie Creator, Movie Maker, whatever the program's actually called. 
uh, comes free with uh, it's a movie editor comes free with uh, most DSLRs and compact cameras as well. And that's it. Cheers, guys.